Okay, so in this episode, we're going to talk about paragraphs. And the reason I'm going to do this is because there's actually quite a lot you can do with text inside a browser. And we're also going to talk about the differences between text inside a browser compared to text on a newspaper or like a magazine or something. So if you take a look at the paragraph here, we did actually create one in the last episode underneath our header. And as you guys can see inside our browser, we didn't do any styling to it yet. Now, before we get started on the styling part, I do want to mention, like I said, once you write text inside a browser compared to any kind of physical magazine or newspaper or something like that, you should know the test has proven that if you have the font size smaller than 16 pixels, it's actually going to decrease readability quite a lot. Now, I'm saying this because this is what test has proven, but personally, I never have my text at 16 pixels in size because I think it's too much. But I also like to say once you know the rules, you can start breaking them. So I just want to mention to you guys that the test has proven, like I said, 16 pixels is the minimum. So that's what we're going to stick to in this episode. So going inside our styling, inside our style sheet, we're going to go ahead and start styling our text. And we're going to go ahead and copy our H2 styling up here and just kind of paste it underneath here. Then we're going to change the H2 inside our path to a P instead, since we're starting the paragraph. And then we can start changing some of these uh, variables that we have down here inside our code. For example, the font weight, I think should be 400 pixels. Or not 400 pixels, but just 400. The font family, we're gonna keep it Lato. The font size, we're gonna say 16 pixels. Like I said before, that's the minimum. Text align, we are gonna keep at center for now. Padding bottom, we're gonna go ahead and remove that one because we don't need it. Text, tra uh, text transform, we're going to go ahead and remove as well because we don't want it to be uppercase. Then we can save this. And if I go refresh the browser, you'll notice that we do actually get some changes. Now, when we have text like this, right now everything looks very crammed together. And it's nice to have some spacing in between the lines, meaning that we're going to go back into our style sheet. We're going to go down another line. I'm going to say line dash height and set it to something greater than 16 pixels. Because right now, if I were to set it to 16 pixels, it's actually gonna have the same line height as the one we, write, uh, we have right now inside the browser. So it has to be greater than 16 pixels. So let's go ahead and say something like 22 pixels. Save it, refresh our browser. If I zoom in for you guys before I refresh, you guys will notice that we do get some spacing. So having this spacing is always nice and of, of course, like I said, inside a browser, in a newspaper, you might see every, all the text is like very cramped together. Inside a browser, you want a lot of space around the stuff that you're reading because the white space is going to make it more comfortable for the eyes to look inside the browser, at least in most cases. So having this line spacing or line height is going to help a lot with readability. So once we have this, we can actually go ahead and start talking about some other stuff, like, for example, if you want some spacing around our text. Let's say we have our text inside a box, which we do actually have right now. So if I were to go ahead and go into my wrapper, which is up here, I'm going to go ahead and give it a... Actually, no, let's go ahead and go down to our intro box and give it a background color as red, for example. There we go. Red save it, refresh the browser, you guys will notice that right now we have this big red box. Now, if I were to go inside my wrapper, which is up here, give it a background color as green, refresh the browser, you guys will now notice that we can actually see what we have inside our text box, or like our div box, which contains all the text. So. Let's say I have a box like this and I want to have some text in here, but I don't want it. Well, I do actually want the text box to have a background color, which means that right now the text is actually touching the sides and I do not want it to because it's going to look not very nice. So if I want to push away the text from the edges of my box, what we can do is I can go into my code, go down to my text styling, and then I can say padding and then set it to maybe 20 pixels. Then it's going to create a 20 pixel space from all the sides of the text. So if I go refresh my browser, you guys will notice that we get some spacing away from the edges of the box, 
which is something that's going to be very useful when you create text boxes. Now, if you want to create the same type of spacing, but you want it not to be increasing the size of the box, then you use margins instead. And I can actually show you guys if I change my padding to margin and save and refresh, you, got, you guys will notice that the text stays the same place, but now the green box is not going to increase in size, like so. At least in the bottom, it's not going to do it. So having it this way is, is quite a nice way to increase text size around the text. And it's some of the different ways we can style our paragraphs. Okay, so this is essentially what I wanted to show you guys when it comes to paragraphs. Now, we will probably be doing some more styling and messing around with paragraphs a little bit later in these episodes. But for now, this is just kind of the basics of getting started with something like text. So let's go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.